Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has unveiled a one-of-a-kind pride flag in Sydney's inner west ahead of the World Pride Festival. The three-week event has sparked conversations about banning gay conversion therapy in New South Wales. A permanent symbol of pride and a celebration of the queer community. Get your phones out, get your cameras out. It is the Pride Square. The Prime Minister helped unveil the multi-dimensional progress flag which will sit outside Newtown's Town Hall in a space dubbed Pride Square. The Inner West has always been the beating heart and soul of the long struggle for civil rights and equality in Australia. Dozens of people gathered to mark the milestone. We can be a beacon for the world, one that says, regardless of who you believe in, who you love, what your gender is, what your ethnicity is, you will be given respect and we will celebrate that diversity. There was singing, God in the bad performances, <laughs> and dancers from drag kings and queens. <laughs> the event comes on the eve of Sydney World Pride 2023, which will kick off next Friday. It'll be the world's largest celebration of LGBTQI plus people, attracting more than one million revellers. The event is expected to inject more than $800 million into the New South Wales economy. I'll also be the first Prime Minister not to watch the march on Mardi Gras, but to march with the community. Against the backdrop of Sydney World Pride, the New South Wales opposition is promising to ban gay conversion therapy if elected to government on March 25. We know now in modern Australia that the practices of the past can no longer stand and a men's Labor government is going to set in train the process to change the laws so that we will end um, conversion practices for the LGBTIQ community. Well, we'd love to welcome the announcement. We want to see the New South Wales government match the commitment and go further. The Premier says it's something he'd consider. As I said, you know, ultimately from my perspective and the time that I've been in government, I've always encouraged people that we need to work through those issues and treat everybody uh, with respect, understanding and tolerance. And that's what our government has uh, always been about. Now, in relation to legislation that comes forward, uh, we always look at those issues. We make sure that every piece of legislation is dealt with on its merits and we'll consider those matters in due course. The change would bring New South Wales in line with Queensland, Victoria and the ACT. Western Australia is considering similar legislation. Julia Bradley, Sky News, Sydney.